have such ideas to watch some pornographic video, you know, porn. I can't deny you see yeah, during high school I do watch porn. Yeah, because it's not only that you can learn through talking. Sometimes also you, you need to to watch some videos. Hey, what's up, Tinkles? Welcome back again to our cute channel. For today's video, we have another topic to talk about. And yes, I guess you're interested about this video because this video is all about how to make your Filipino wild in bed. Before anything else, we all know that we Filipino, you know, is that we are really bubbly, we are really a happy-go-lucky person or people, we have no problems, but well, definitely we have more problems that we encounter, but we never show it to other people because you know us as a happy person, we always gather to smile and every problems that we will face and every challenges that we will encounter. And we both know that you want to date a Filipina or you love to date a Filipina because of such personality like what they have, right? So in this video, you will know a little bit about it and how you make wild with Filipina. As we all know that we Filipinos are really not have any idea about what is really sex is. In our generation, yes, because our parents, our family, relatives never told us about that so-called thing, sex. They are avoiding us to tell such topic because for them, it's not really important for us to know about it because we are still young. Yeah, during my high school life, and. Uh, yeah, college life or until now, we never talk about such topic because it's not really useful here in the Philippines that the parents will tell to their kids, to their daughters or son that, Hey son, don't forget to bring your condom and the daughter don't forget to take your pill to avoid such early pregnancy, right? It's really common in your country, but here in the Philippines, using control some pills or condoms or anything that can prevent pregnancy is not really usable for the parents here in the philippines they don't talk about what is that really mean is so how does filipino wild if such topic like that is not really thought from the parents because they are just avoiding the topic. Well, definitely in school. Well, Tinkles, we all know that here in the Philippines, sex education is not really yet implemented. Until now, it's still not. So it's really not teach here in the Philippines about that. Or it's either if there is a chance, maybe some teachers will make a joke about it. And you know, we people are always curious for something new, right? So they always have sayings about curiosity kills. But how it happens? Did they will make that because of that they're just curious? Of course not, right? So in school, you will not learn about that inside the classroom because it's not really implemented for teaching such education like that. I guess in your country, you have such sex education, if I'm not mistaken. But here in the Philippines, it's still not implemented. In my generation, <laughs> How you make Filipino well if they have no knowledge about what is really sex. They don't have any idea what position or what does really is sex. During my time, I don't really have idea such like that. I'm just a young girl playing, enjoying my childhood. But this generation right now, 
everyone knows about it. So, how? Through friends, yes. Cycle of friends, we, especially if your friends are open-minded person, right? So if they're open-minded and especially if you're there, you have some friends that is or classmates that go to school and already married, of course, they will talk about things like that. Especially if you are uh, open-minded people, right? So they kept on sharing things, what they have experienced. They will tell you how, how good it is, how delicious it is. Well, delicious. And how it feels when you make love with someone that you, that you really love. You know, we Filipinas don't make such sex just because we are curious or just because we want it. Be, but because we love and we do such sex or activities like that because we love the person, you know. So, in our generation, we valued virginity because we believe that is that's the biggest the biggest gift that you could ever give to your husband after marriage. And of course, there are also some fear that we feel if, what if we will lost our virginity? Is there another guy or man can love us if ever the relationship of my previous relationship will, will fail and I already give him the pleasure that he wanted to have from me? That's also the mindset of our generation before because we all believe that that's the best gift you can give. So we valued virginity. So we don't really do such sex because just we are curious. So true friends, we have a little bit knowledge about that. We true friends, we have ideas what does what sex really is and because of their experience also that they shared to us that's why it's really it's also good to have a friend or a matured friend that you can really enjoy talking to some naughty topics you know somehow we women do really love talking such like that we will make fun with it and also at the same time we learned something from it we only talk such naughty topics if we are really comfortable to the person and if that person is really open-minded we don't talk such topic to the woman who always say oh yeah they don't like that but deep inside they already have experience you know so it's better to be to those people who is acting very naughty rather than the people acting like they're innocent, they're angelic. But deep inside, they already have experience such activity like that, you know? So, why, why, why do we, we need to, 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 to be friends with someone acting like innocence? During high school days, there are so much classmates I have acting like they're a baby, like, like they cannot open their legs like that you know but then after a few years after graduation you just notice wow they have two kids already yeah so we get some ideas about sex through our friends and of course you will have such ideas to watch some pornographic video you know porn I can't deny you see yeah, during high school I do watch porn yeah because it's not only that you can learn through talking sometimes also you you need to to watch some videos because actions are uh, because just you're just talking sharing and you have no idea what's what's really in the picture of that so how it's really complicated right that's why me and my friends, cycle of friends, we do watching porn. <laughs> Somehow, we need to hide it. Yeah, of course, it's not needed to tell to everyone, Hey guys, we're watching porn. Of course not. 
not like that. So we are only watching porn to those friends that we can trust that they will not gonna gossip us or tell to others that we do watch like that. But right now I open up here so you already knew about my high school life. <laughs> yeah, through watching you also learned, you know. So it's good. It helps that a little bit you have some ideas about positions. But we do believe that Filipina is really not into different positions because we only know it's about that basic. We never, ne we don't have any ideas, or it's not that we have no ideas because we already watch videos. That's what I have told you. But you know, it's really different feelings that we Filipina are a shy type of person, so we do not do first moved. So we are just waiting for our partner to do it in the first few weeks, months maybe. But then if you're willing to teach your Filipina, if you are willing to be the teacher and the leader in such activity, then maybe the shyness from your Filipina will be can in just a little bit more time. And you will know how wild Filipina is if, if ever you already teach him because teach her because we do believe that teacher experience is the best teacher right so through experience with your filipino video because we do believe that you western men is already have different experience and do we filipina is not really have any you know some wild life especially a province girl we do not have wild lives and we do not have much experience and then maybe there are times that you are lucky you are the first one who make love with your Filipina, right? So don't just be confused if your Filipina have nothing to do while you are just we are doing something, you know, because we do not know anything. We we only know basic lay down top bottom like that. We don't we don't have any idea about any position. Like what's the position but hmm I'm innocent. Well <laughs> no yeah I, I right now I know some different position but you know it's really different. So if you want that your Filipino be wild, then be be her teacher. Teach her, be the leader, do the first move. Because at first, Filipino is really shy to do the first move. So maybe you can do something better. And after that, the Filipino will, will adopt your wildness. And then maybe she can be wild also as you as you wanted her to be. It depends how you give pleasure to her. It depends how you teach her. And it depends how you also perform in bed, you know. So if you want your Filipino wild, then be the first one to be wild. <laughs> because we are just innocents, you know. <laughs> no, of course. So just be patient that's really part of that because we only know that filipino are loving caring can do multitasking but in terms of bad we know that there are some really that is a little bit boring because only basic but if you want some wildest the wilder well so be the you know be the leader of, of it and then one day you will just surprise your filipino is wild than more than you expect right so don't be just confused if we filipina only knows about some basic like that because we only know household chores <laughs> washing clothes washing dishes because we have no idea what is that really is and after that, if we already developed or we already have experience, because if Filipina have their own experience already, and I do believe that they also learn from it. You know, we Filipina are willing to learn. So just be patient until the day that comes that your Filipina is wild.
Okay, Ting Tong, so <laughs> don't be so impatient for like that because I know one day you both can enjoy the same pleasure, the same satisfaction, the same wildness if you both have patience to teach each other and tell your Filipino what makes you on because what turns you on so that the Filipino have idea or tell her what you really want in bed so maybe she can she can have a little bit practice a little bit idea about that because as we all know our idea about sex is really close until we have our experience because our parents raising us without knowing about such activity like that so we have no knowledge and if ever we do have like that we get it from other people from friends from you know videos because our parents is not really usually talk about such topic for us so as you can see i have a big tummy so maybe i'm well because i have this already <laughs> So, that's all Tinkles. I hope you learned something from this video. Just be patient until one day you can tell, Wow, I love what you're doing. I really love the pleasure, the satisfaction I have feeling right now because of you. So, I hope you consider to give like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated to our next video thank you so much Ningles, for watching see you again bye bye